Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Fight Focus. And for today's video, we will be covering the most lethal spinning backfist ever seen. Also, if you enjoy this video, please make sure to drop a like, subscribe, and comment what video you want to see next. Let's get to it. Nothing says statement victory in MMA quite like a spinning backfist finish. Spinning backfist can be a feast or famine business. If it misses, you end up putting yourself at a serious risk for a counter, or worse, end up like Chael Sonnen back at UFC 148. But there is just something so beautiful about the spinning backfist that separates it from the rest of the pack of finishers a fighter can use. For this video, we have comprised a list of times MMA fighters use the spinning backfist in order to knock their opponent out in an instant. You might want to lower the volume because some of the backfists that landed were easily heard due to how powerful they actually were. So without further ado, these are the most lethal spinning backfists ever seen. Number 11, Benil Dariush. The 31-year-old fighter looked like a video game come to life when he scored a brutal spinning backfist KO and it was a move he was told to use by his friend's son. Oh! That's it! Man! Benil Dariush does it again! Wow, Lightweight's got a player. A lot of people say it wasn't a spinning back fist, that it was a spinning forearm strike, but what do y'all think? Number 10, Joshua Paccio. In Joshua's bout against Roy Doliguez, he did not at all shy away from closing the fight out in fashion. This spinning back fist is so hard to watch, not just by the look of the impact, but also the insanely cringeworthy sound it made. The crushing blow occurred not even a minute of the second round. After a failed low kick barely made any contact, Roy inched in a little as Joshua winded up the spinning back fist, just letting it fly. Number 9, Arthur Ali Buletov. At Pro FC 62 in Rostov, Russia, Arthur Ali Buletov blasted Boris Miroshnichenko with a spinning back fist and finished him with strikes in the second round of their fight. After the strike landed, Miros Dechenko looked like he was trying to fight what on a slip and slide. While he quickly got back to his feet, he was visibly unsteady and Ali Buletov poured on more punishment. Number 8, Arthur Guzenov. While most people were out whooping it up on that Friday night, Arthur Guzenov was busy posting a spectacular spinning backfist knockout at M1 Global Challenger 26. Unfortunately for middleweight Tyson Jeffries, he was on the wrong end of the highlight reel strike and wound up completely unconscious for his efforts. What makes this knockout even more impressive is the fact that seconds before Guzenov delivered the spitting back fist, you could see him smack talking his opponent. Number 7, Mazwandile Halongwa. At EFC 75, Mazwandile Shakebone Halongwa lived up to his nickname with the terrifying knockout of Torbjorn Madsen. After a quick 1-2 combination, Halongwa unleashed a lightning quick spinning back fist. The action replay, 1-2, oh, that was a massive shot, set it up with a punch and he fell down like a That technique fooled Madsen who dropped his hands in anticipation of clinch work and landed flush across the Norwegian's chin. This win would likely put him on the radar of some larger promotions. Number 6, Emmanuel Newton. Emmanuel Newton entered the light heavyweight semifinals poised to shock the world and did just that, knocking out King Mo with a spinning back fist in the first round. The knockout was so painful to watch since the top of Newton's palm landed right on the face of King Mo, causing him to instantly go stiff. Number 5, Paul Felder. UFC 182 in 2015 had some big names like John Jones and Daniel Cormier. Very few would notice the fight between Paul Felder and Danny Castillo among such high profile fights, but a fancy knockout from Felder attracted some eyes towards the fight. Playing in his jiu jitsu with Daniel Grayson. Oh! Two minutes into the second round, Felder gave a spinning back fist to an approaching Castillo, then he gave a few more blows but Castillo was already knocked out. 
A spinning back fist from Felder caught Castillo squarely as he charged in with a punch combo, and the result was an instant knockout and a dramatic knockout finish at the 2 minute 9 second mark of round 2. Number 4 John McDessey John McDessey scored a highlight reel knockout via spinning back fist against Kyle Watson at 1 minute and 27 seconds of the third round in their UFC 129 bout. <laughs> Then Watson worked for a clinch and took several lefts before finally pinning McDessey against the cage. McDessey escaped and when they separated, Watson had a cut under his eye, then McDessey faked the kick and nailed Watson with this perfect spinning back fist for the knockout. Number 3 Steven Peterson Steven Peterson countered Martin Bravo's spinning back fist with an even better spinning back fist. So far, both of look really good. Oh! Peterson connected with Bravo's jaw with an audible crack to end the fight in a knockout during the second round of Fight Night 159 in Mexico City on that Saturday night. Peterson was the 7th fighter in UFC history to win on a spinning backfist knockout. Funny enough, since both fighters committed to the spinning backfist, it was Steven Peterson's who landed hard and clean. Although Bravo was the first one to hit the backfist, there was not much power and precision in that strike. Number 2. Yair Reyes Payan seemed to win the first round and was looking like the next opponent for Joe Soto in the final round. But with one swing of the fist and spin, Payan was out cold on the ground because of a Reyes spinning back fist, a great moment for the Belter promotion. In the first seven plus minutes of the fight. Oh! How about the spinning back fist? Oh. Jair Reyes! How about the knockout yeah. there? In the words of the many YouTube comments, Pion got owned by Reyes spinning back fist or forearm. However you look at it, it's still one of the greatest knockouts in MMA. Number 1 Shoney Carter With just a few seconds remaining in the last round, Matt Serra had Carter backpedaling as a result of several flush punches to Carter's chin. Then in a move that shocked all who witnessed it, Carter spun 360 degrees and blasted the oncoming Serra with the spinning back fist straight to the face. Sarah, dazed, dropped to the ground immediately and was unable to defend himself, prompting the referee to step in and call a halt to the action. While Sarah placed second in his UFC debut, he would go on to win the welterweight championship six years later with the most shocking upset in MMA history over George Rush St. Pierre. He would also become known for his durability and resistance strikes, making Carter's KO win all the more amazing. And that right there concludes this video. Let us know what you did in the comments below. Alright MMA fans, thank you so much for sticking around to the end of this video. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, make sure to hit the notification bell, and don't forget to subscribe if you're new. Also, don't forget to comment below what video you want to see next.